so hello everyone welcome back to my channel so for today's video i will be sharing with you how i set up my a6 journal slash planner for 2021 so let's get started first let's talk about the cover this is a cover that i got from a local shop and i love it because it highly reminds me of hobonichi it has this two slots where you can put your pens has also two bookmarks which is very great to mark in my important pages in my planner and then at the inside it looks like this it has pockets three pockets in here unfortunately this part isn't a pocket it would have been great if it is but it's not and then it just has like these two um, spaces where you can fit in the cover of the notebook itself and then at the back it has like this space in here and then another slot for the cover and then another pocket in here so that is all about the cover and the texture it's like a denim pants and it highly reminds me of that so here's a closer look at the planner in case you're interested so that is my cover and then for the actual notebook itself i'm still using an a6 notebook let me show you how it looks like without a cover so this is how it looks like without the cover um it highly reminds me of the midori notebook but it is not it's an a6 grid notebook that i got from shopee in case you're interested i will link it down below but the grid in the style just highly reminds me of the midori notebook which i really like and then at the front this is just how it looks like i did not cover this page entirely because when you put it inside the cover this part will only show up so yeah let's now talk about these pockets i just have this um kina prince sampler this is the december 2020 sampler and then i have this loyalty card from papers and colors um i love supporting local shops as much as i can so yeah and this is the order that I got from Kina Prince when I got this um, sampler. It's basically just eight tabs, like clear tabs that you can put in your planner as you can see. So I've already put my 2021 in January. And this is just um, a list of all the holidays in the Philippines. So yeah, here's my washi dashboard. I just use like all the washi tapes that I have laying around and I really like how it turned out. Although it's not really close to the pink scheme that I have going on, but it's alright. I love how it looks with the inside cover. I actually glued this page together so that the washi would be more secure. And then here's just like um, a yearly overview. I use it as a reference whenever I make my monthly set up like this one and i use it also to track my period and then we also have like the tab in there and then next to that it goes straight to my weekly as you can see my layout is very simple i just have like the calendar in here and then two boxes in the side it's not different to the layout that i used on my previous journal i have like happenings which is like um current events and then favorites would be like any books, movies, TV series, or music that I have discovered during the month. And then in here, I would just write all of my deadlines for school. I would also take note when I got my salary. And for my deadlines, I like to highlight them when I'm done with them. And as you can see, I whenever something is cancelled, I would just like strike through and go on with the day and i also like to put some cool like here's my first time to try a specific brand of milk tea and i think that is very interesting to look at 
and I also like to track bills that I have to pay so that is just how I use my monthly I like to make it as minimal as possible because usually whenever there is school right now I'm on a break so there's not much going on but whenever it's like the actual school season there's actually a lot of stuff going on there's a lot of deadlines so I really have to see them clearly so as much as possible I do not clutter them a lot so basically the thing is I would just highlight them once they are done and for the decoration since I'm just new to this notebook I still don't know the kind of style that fits well in this notebook so what I decided is just add a doodle this month and while making the spread I thought of that so I just searched on Pinterest about cat doodles and copied some of them and this is how it turned out I also added this lettering which I did on my sticker paper and then I would I just stuck it in there and then I just added some washies to add more character to the page so that is how I use my monthly then after that is like all of my weeklies as you can see um, this is the current week that I'm in and I allocate enough space for each week after the end of the month because I like having all of my weeks together. So I will discuss how I use my weeks now. So basically this for this month, I decided to copy the Hobonichi Weekly Supplement layout and which is a vertical layout and I'm loving it so far. If you can see like some sticky notes lying around these are just some things that I don't want to show the camera. So basically what I do is I put seven columns and then they are all timed as you can see. But I only put the time at the side so that every box has enough spaces on it and it will not just take up space for the time if I put it inside the boxes if you get what I mean. I did it better in the following week by adding these lines for every third hour of the day. So 3, 6, 9, 12, 3, 6, 9, 12. So that I can easily refer to the time whenever I am making plans or recording what happened during the day. So basically at the top, um, I just write all of my to-do list and then at the side, I do whatever I want. So this week, I decided to put something that I want to buy and something that I want to do that is not day specific and then I will just plan the week if I wanted to but most of the time I just record what happened during the day so I back plan because I discovered about myself that whenever I plan things like specifically hour by hour I won't most likely follow it I don't know it's just me so most of the time i would record once the day is over and i will just write whatever happened during the day i also use this bottom spaces to track my mood the amount of time i exercise for the day whether i took vitamins i would put a check on it and then my mood for the evening so there is five boxes for each day and that is how i track my health and it really works for me as you can see and then at the top, I would write whether I work for the day, I would put W for the first box and then whether I studied, I would write S on the second box. So as you can see, I did not study this day, I worked and studied this day, I did not work but studied this day. And then here, I tried to score my productivity during the day but I stopped doing it because the scoring system isn't that really great for me, it doesn't really make sense. So I just stopped doing it. And then after the end of the week, like every Sunday, I would tally all of these and see how much I actually worked, studied, and worked out in the week so that I can compare my progress every week. So as you can see here, I worked out five times. You can see here that I worked a lot better than the previous week, but I did not do it in here. I think we can do it right now so you can see how I actually do it. So the pen that I'm using is this one him and it highly reminds me of the stabilo fine liners so for work i oh my gosh i worked like the whole week <laughs> and then for study i just studied only two days and then for my workout i did one two three four i did not do better than last week and what i want to do is also tally my minutes so 10 20 50 60 minutes 
Mm, wow, this one is like 45, 85, 95. Wow, wow, I worked out a lot this week. So yeah, that is how I do my weekly, how I set up my weekly. And I forgot that I like to assign one color each week. For this week, I decided to do orange and this is the current week i haven't decided how i would want to color it but this is how like a blank spread looks like usually i would just write my to-do list and then once the day is finished i would just check it what i actually did during the day so and now for the journaling part of my notebook because this is like a planner slash journal after the weeks this is basically just like an open space for me to just basically write whatever i want here i wrote a haiku and then some notes about the book that i was listening to and then here's like a quote just yeah anything under the sun i would even make my brain dump in here but after discovering emilu arts on youtube i got so inspired to do like this kind of daily journaling she does this amazing daily spreads and i was just like so inspired and i started it last wednesday and i've been doing it consistently and what i do is i journal every morning and then i will journal about the previous day so actually today is monday but my sunday spread is not yet done because i would make that later so basically i would just try it whatever happened during the day either something about work a throwback playlist a series that i watched movies just memories and yeah some realizations and i love the idea of daily journaling because first of all it forces me to remember what happened during the day because during the quarantine i feel like each day blends together and it's so hard to distinguish one day from another so i realized that through journaling i would at least be able to have like a sense of what the day was and be able to reflect from it and whenever i look back on this journal it would make me realize that i did not just waste my day i actually did something i actually realized something and being able to journal that is really important for me to remember that i actually had um, a meaningful day even though there's not really that much that happened during the day so yeah that is just how i'm using my journal so far and i've been loving it so much i love how everything is in one notebook and i haven't been posting a lot on instagram because i just wanted to like have fun in my notebook so anyways um that is how i use my a6 journal slash planner for 2021 i'm so excited to see if i will implement some changes on it for the following month but right now i'm actually happy with my setup you know i have like a planner and then i have my daily journal and whenever this is done i would i will not restrict my self to be in this notebook for the year because obviously the pages won't be enough i will just go with the flow and see how many months will this notebook last and proceed to the next one so yeah i hope you enjoyed this video and um, i'll see you on my next one goodbye